Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of December 19 to December 25th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Gemini, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, also, one more thing, for the new subscribers that are joining my channel or that have joined my channel, please be aware of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone telling you to contact them with a phone number or an email or anything like that, please be aware those are scammers. That is not me. I will never send you a message telling you to contact me in any way. So please be careful. All right, Gemini, let's get started. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Gemini in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right, at the bottom of the deck, Page of Wands in reverse. We also have here Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the King of Pentacles. Hmm. Page of Wands, King of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups, oh, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands. Hmm. You're definitely having a hard time trusting someone. Trusting something here. I do feel like some of you are like weighing out your... Weighing out... The pros and cons. Feels like weighing out something else though. Feels like weighing out like. Your mind and your heart. I feel like you're trying to balance your mind and your heart. What's real and what's not real? I feel like you're also trying to distinguish what's real and what's not real with the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Cups here. Hmm. I like this energy, Gemini, because I do feel like you are standing in your power all, all of these cards represent you i feel these court cards queen of swords king of wands and king of pentacles all in the upright position i feel like i feel like you're definitely in your power um and i feel like you're definitely looking at things from from many different perspectives you know You're looking at something from, from every angle, from every perspective. But I feel like you're trying to be reasonable, you know. 
you're not trying to judge you know it's not like you're you're looking to judge i feel like you're you're trying to just be realistic and trying to be reasonable and try to trying to keep a level head keep a balance with with your emotions and with your mind I feel like there is something that you want. There's something that you desire with the two of wands, um, but you're not feeling like you can trust it completely yet. So I do feel like you're going slow. You know, you're moving very slowly here with the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you have been burned in the past with the Three of Swords. You've already been burned so i feel like you're trying to learn from your past experiences you know you know you're, you're trying to remember um the things that you have learned from the past the lessons you've learned hmm. you're definitely trying to be wise i feel like you're trying to be wise and smart about something I also feel like you're trying to balance out your expectations. But there is something that you want. You're just not sure if you should move towards it or not. There's, there's too much confusion surrounding something that you you desire here. Hmm. You're waiting for an offer with the Page of Pentacles, Gemini. You're waiting for someone to, to prove themselves to you. Yeah. Yep, that's it. You're waiting for someone to prove themselves to you. All right, so there's a lot of waiting energy here. I don't, I don't see much happening. I feel like you, you don't really know the full story of, of your own situation, of your own relationship. You don't really know the full story. I feel like, but I feel like you're just kind of taking it slow and you're letting things be, you're letting the truth be revealed to you on its own. It's like you're not trying to control things here. You're, you're letting just things um, make sense on their own without you having to force something to make sense, you know? You know, it's like it doesn't make sense to you now, but it's like I feel like you're in this energy of let me just give it some time, you know, let me go slowly. Let's see if the, the, the pieces of the puzzle will, will fall into place on its own without me having to force it. I feel like that's the approach you're taking. I don't know if that approach will work for you, though. Not necessarily. You know? Not necessarily, but that's the thing. You don't really know. You don't know if this approach will work or or won't work but that's all you got right now that's all you got right now you don't have anything else to go off of there's not much happening and whatever little happen whatever little is happening you know you don't fully trust it with the seven of swords so you feel like you need to just kind of give it give it something some time to reveal itself. Something or someone. Something or someone to to reveal to re to reveal themselves to you. I feel like you're confident, you know, it's like you're confident that you'll see the truth eventually. You'll figure out the truth or that the truth will be revealed to you eventually. I feel like you're, like you're confident, you know, and I feel like you're confident in yourself that you'll know how to handle it. 
whether it's good or bad, you'll know how to handle it. You'll know how to manage. Yeah, King of Pentacles here. I feel like you, you have a plan. Also with the Nine of Pentacles, it's like you have a plan. You've already thought about, you know, the different scenarios, the different possible outcomes. And I feel like you've already kind of prepared yourself for what could possibly happen. So it's like right now you're just kind of sitting back and waiting. I feel like that's what you're doing here, like sitting back and waiting for... For whatever is meant to happen, to happen. You know? Hmm. All right. Maybe I'll do a little bit of clarifying. Tell me about that Queen of Swords spirit. Some of you have more than one option also. Looking at the Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Some of you have more than one option and you're waiting to see um, who will prove themselves to you first. Four of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like, um, like I said, I feel like you're letting go of your expectations. It's almost like you're keeping yourself in a neutral energy. It feels kind of neutral-ish. Hmm, yeah. You're not holding on to any expectation. You're keeping yourself neutral. Okay. Anything else here? Um, what's the King of Wands doing, Spirit? Oh. oh, what did I say? Hangman. There's that waiting energy, I told you. It looks like you're sitting back and just waiting. And we have the Six of Cups. Some of you are waiting for someone from your past to to show up to make an appearance you know to uh prove their case I'm getting like a lot of like lawyer energy here feels like a lawyerish vibe yeah to prove their case to you or like to prove their worth to you Someone from your past, so some of you are waiting on that. But I like your energy, though, because I feel like you are um, keeping yourself in this very independent, self-sufficient energy. So regardless what happens, it's like you're already stable within your own self. So nobody can really take anything away from you. They can only add. If they, if they are of value. If they truly are of value. Which I feel like that's what you're waiting for someone to prove to you. Okay. I think I'm done here, Gemini. Yeah. Pretty straightforward, I feel, this week. Your energy feels pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at your person, see what their energy, what their energy is for the week. All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Gemini is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit.
Hmm. Ten of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Look at them with the hangman, just like you are, just like you had the hangman. <laughs> waiting also. Interesting. Waiting for you two are waiting for each other, apparently. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me see what else comes up. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Cups in reverse. Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. mm. Not great. Two of Wands and the Lovers with the King of Pentacles. And the Emperor in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Wands. Jeez. Look at this Page of Swords. This person has been spying on you, Gemini. They feel unfinished business with you. Ten of Swords in reverse. They feel like you and them had a missed opportunity. And justice is in reverse. They feel like something was unfair within this relationship. Seven of Swords, they're definitely spying on you. They're definitely feeling discouraged here with the star in reverse. Somebody might have walked away with the Eight of Cups. Hmm. This energy is not the best, Gemini, because I feel like this is someone who's kind of playing the victim. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Look at the Emperor in reverse here with the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is very much an energy of someone playing victim. Hold on. Can I get the picture? Yeah, this is someone who's playing victim, Gemini. Someone who's telling themselves lies. Ace of Swords in reverse. Hold on, don't mix up the cards, Wendy. Keep them in order. Yeah, I feel like this person is telling themselves lies. They're telling, oh, they have their own version. Oh, I see. They have their own version of what happened between you and them. Hmm. And I don't think their version is that is is anything like yours. But this person is very attracted to you, Gemini. We have the lovers here. They do feel an an intense connection with you. They do think about you all the time. But they're very bitter about something. They are holding a grudge about something. Some sort of conflict that might have happened between you and them. With the Five of Wands. Also, I feel like there's conflict surrounding this person in their, you know, in their personal life. Separate from you. This person's definitely feeling very unhappy. They're very unhappy. They're very, they're feeling very unfulfilled um, personally, you know, in their personal life. And I do see the Ace of Cups here. So I do feel like this person does want to have a new beginning in love with you. They do have deep feelings for you, but I do feel like they're being very rebellious also with the two of swords i feel like this is someone who is blocking themselves from you and they're waiting but they're waiting for you they're waiting they're waiting they're waiting to receive communication from you with the knight of swords in reverse i feel like this person blames you they look at you as the one to blame. I feel like they also look at you as someone who abandoned them or someone who... How do they look at Gemini? Let me just see. Sorry, how, how does this person view Gemini, please? Or how is this, how is this person viewing Gemini in this week?
Five of Swords in reverse. Hold on, let me look at this card over there. Two of Pentacles in reverse, three of Pentacles in reverse, ten of Cups. This person feels like you don't care about them, uh, Gemini. That's how they're looking at you. They, they're looking at you as someone who was cold with them or someone who hurt their feelings in some way. You said something or you did something that... that made them feel hurt. They're looking at you as someone who doesn't want to cooperate with them or doesn't want to work together with them. And they're looking at you also as someone who they want to have a happily ever after with, with the Ten of Cups, but they feel like you, you are not on the same page with them and they feel like you make things more difficult than it needs to be. I don't know what that means, but that's how they feel. They feel like you don't really understand them or you don't really take the time to listen to them or to consider them. They have a, they have a lot of negative things to say about you, Gemini, to be honest. They're, they have a lot of neg they have a very negative outlook up, um, in regards to you. However, they want a new beginning in love with you. So, you know, you can't be that bad. With the, with the lovers and the Ace of Cups, this is someone who wants a new beginning in love with you. Someone who is, you know, extremely attracted to you and, and feels an intense connection with you. And they, that's what they want. I feel like... With the Nine of Cups, this person doesn't really care about whatever conflict has happened between you two. I feel like they want things to move forward with you. Because I feel like they miss you with the Six of Cups. There's, there's, a, there's an energy here of someone missing you. And someone feeling empty. They feel empty without you. But there's a lot of stubbornness here with the Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords. This is someone who doesn't want, doesn't want to look at themselves and, you know, doesn't want to recognize their own faults, you know, and acknowledge their own faults, their own mistakes. Um, you know, their own issues. They're just kind of pointing the finger at you. And they're making it seem like you're the one who, who started it, you know, kind of energy. It's kind of immature. You're the one who started it or you're the one who, who provoked conflict or created conflict or started conflict with the five of wands. And they're kind of frustrated here because they feel like you, you shut them out. They feel like you shut them out and like you... You're challenging them. You're making them feel small. You're making, I don't feel like you're making this person feel small. I feel like they just think that because of their own insecurities, you know. Let's take a look at this Queen of Swords spirit, please. Thank you so much. So some of you are dealing with another um, air sign. I don't know if I said that. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Uh, we also have Pisces here. And Aries and Libra and Aquarius. Wow. King of Wands... And the Five of Cups in reverse. You two are kind of mirroring each other a little bit. Yeah, there's there's a con there's a competition here for sure. 
But you came up in the upright, though. You came up in the upright three times. So I don't feel like you are, you know, playing games here. I feel like this person is in some kind of competition with you, but they're the only ones that are competing, you know? I don't feel like you're you're competing with this person. In reality, this person thinks they're competing with you, but in reality, they're competing with themselves and with their ego, King of Wands. Because they, they very much want to return back to you, but I feel like they are... Uh, how do you say that word? They're um, they're fixated. They're fixated on making it seem like you're the one who who's to blame. They're fixated on the idea of you being the one to blame here. They're fixated on their own version, their own version of, of, of what happened between you two. But it's a version that makes, that makes it look like they're the hero and you're the villain, you know? They have a version of things that is very convenient for them, you know? And that kind of glorifies them. And again, makes you, makes you look like you're the one who hurt them or you're the one who disappointed them. You're the one who messed things up with them or messed things up in this relationship. So, you know, I don't know about this person, Gemini. What is this person waiting for with the hangman? Tell me about the hangman spirit. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, they're waiting for you to return back to them. They, they're waiting for things to repeat again between you and them. They want to have a, another opportunity with you. But I just don't feel like they're coming towards you with a different energy or, or like... I feel like they're in the same energy as, as before the same energy that caused a separation between you two. Tell me more about the hangman. The devil in reverse. Again, I feel like this person wants things to be, um, they wanna get rid of the toxicity or the negativity between you two. That's nice, but I feel like they're coming towards you with the same energy, you know, so it's, it doesn't work that way. It's like they want to make things better. They want things to be better between you and them. They want to make things better, but they're not really willing to change their mindset, you know. They're not really willing to change their attitude. They still have um, a victim Um, mentality here. It's almost like they feel like they're doing you a favor by having a, uh, by allowing a new beginning with you. By allowing themselves to have a new beginning with you. <clears throat> it's like they, they think you're, they think they're doing you a favor by that. <laughs> It's like they want to make it seem like you're the one who wants them, not, not them the one who wants you, which I feel like that's the truth. I mean, I feel like you both want each other, but I don't feel like you need this person, and this person is coming up as the Nine of Cups in reverse, so they're really the ones that are codependent here. Because this is an energy of codependency, and... You know, someone who's very needy. So, 
they're wearing a disguise here with the Queen of Swords, but I feel like in reality, this is this person is the one who needs you, not the other way around. But it's like they want to make it seem like you need them. It's kind of messed up and twisted, Gemini. I don't know. All right, but I hope this reading resonated. I am going to now continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.